In today's world, we often feel burned out, uninspired, and bombarded with negativity from political division, economic volatility, rising bills, and the stress of everyday life. It seems like accomplishing our dreams is a fool's errand. 20th century mystic and author Neville Goddard thought otherwise. Neville believed that our thoughts are much more powerful than we realize, and that how we use this power of our imagination can shape our destiny and transform our lives for the better. Hi, I'm Frank Nunez with Teaching University, and today I'll be discussing how we can apply some of Neville Goddard's teachings to transform our lives and manifest our dreams. Neville believed that how we use our imagination can determine the kind of lives we live, or to put it another way, how our personality can shape our personal reality. To bring about change, many of us try to change something in our external environment, but by forcing an outcome, or to predict when something is going to happen, we get in our own way of personal transformation because our thinking is based on lack instead of abundance. Neville offers an alternative. He states, Stop trying to change the world since it is only the mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. This reflection then will be satisfactory. What Neville was saying is that to change our external environment, it first requires changing our internal world. In order to accomplish our dreams, often we work longer hours, multitask, and try to push a desired result without bothering to consider that the real work is going within and reshifting our focus so you can begin to think about what you want instead of what you don't want. As Neville says, whether your desire to find, quietly go within and shut the door behind you. Lose yourself in your desire. Feel yourself to be one with it. Remain in this fixation until you absorb the life and name by claiming and feeling yourself to be and to have that which you desire. When you emerge from the hour of prayer, you must do so consciously of being and possessing that which you therefore desire. According to Neville, the secret to happiness begins when we begin thinking about and acting as if our prayers have been answered, or as Neville put it, feeling is the secret. Society has conditioned us to believe that our self-worth is based on materialistic measures of success. This often leaves us feeling like we're spinning around in a never-ending malaise where no matter how much we acquire, it never seems enough. True success, however, is when we learn to control our minds, when we begin feeling and acting as if our dreams have come true. And by embodying this change we wish to see, it will only be a matter of time before it manifests in our lives.